you have some information about your visit, one, I give you the okay, you can stop going down to the internal spiral staircase with 257 steps. You can get out and turn on the outside at the sixth and seventh story, and you can also get into the bed chamber where you find seven bronze beds that are tuned as the seven musical notes. In fact, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is the bell tower of the cathedral. Speaking about bells, I'd like to remind you that it's not a lot of touching them and going beyond the chants that surround them. And now one last thing, please. When you go down, especially while going down, I recommend you to be very careful because the floor is a bit slippery and uneven. Thank you so much. Finally, I reached Pisa. We will see. Oh, nobody's around. Everything is closed. I just arrived to Pisa Central train station from Rome. It was already late at night, about 11 p.m., after an hour of train delay from the Rome station. However, it wasn't difficult to find my accommodation in the night as it was just a straight walk from the main station. This is from Lipsa. This staircase is from Lipsa. Okay. Well, good morning and this is Pisa. And this is the morning sun. We're going to start the day early. That's a really quiet town. We have some people waiting for the bus and some people is walking to work. Time now is 7.30. It's a beautiful day at Pisa. This morning we're getting the breakfast. First day at Pisa and we are heading to Leaning Tower of Pisa. Pisa is a city in Tuscany, central Italy, next to the Ligurian Sea, where the river Ono joins it. It is the capital city of the province of Pisa. Although Pisa is widely known for its Leaning Tower, also as a bell tower for the city's cathedral, the city of over 90,000 residents and around 200,000, if you include the metropolitan area, contains more than 20 other historic churches, several medieval palaces, and various bridges across the Honored River. Much of the city's architecture was financed by its history as one of Italian's prominent maritime republics. The origin of the name Pisa is a mystery. Although the origin of the city had remained unknown for centuries, archaeological remains from the 5th century BC confirmed the existence of the maritime trade for the city. The maritime role of Pisa have already been prominent when the ancient authorities ascribed it to the invention of the naval ram. Not long after the Ponte Mezzo Bridge, I finally caught the first sight of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. When you stand on the square looking at the Leaning Tower, you cannot help but appreciate its majesty. It stands tall and it leans upon you. The entire monument is made out of white marble. There are literally thousands of details and features sculpted in a solid rock. It is amazing how much work must have went in to put all this together.
I bought my ticket at a surprisingly empty ticket office this morning. Backpacks and purse are not allowed in the tower, but you can leave them in the lockers at the ticket office and you'll be given a key card for retrieving them after the tour. The line to the entrance wasn't long at all. When you enter the leading tower, you'll immediately be greeted with nothing. The center of the tower is just a hollow cylinder from the top to the bottom. So now we are looking up the steps. Entering the Leaning Tower is perhaps the best way to experience its famous lean. That's me. This feels a little bit slanting when they're walking. Climbing the main stairs enhances the feeling of wrong gravity. Even more so as you wobble from left to right, wandering up the sparring staircase around the tower from the ground to the top. It is definitely worth the time and the 18 euros you pay for the entrance ticket. from there. Yeah. Okay, I think we are reaching the top. Yes. It took me about 20 minutes to climb to the top of the monument, including the time for taking a few photos and dealing with the human traffic inside the tower. That's the bell. After my tour in the leading tower, I popped by Pisa Baptistry of St. John. I think we are supposed to listen to the echo. Looks like it's done. Just thanks to the baptistry of St. John is Pisa Cathedral. The Pisa Cathedral is a medieval Roman Catholic cathedral dedicated to the Assumption of Virgin Mary. 
The interior is subdivided at the front central nave, flanked by two sides aisles of beautiful paintings. The cathedral was consecrated in 1118 by Pope Gelasius II, who belonged to the Caedani family, which is both powerful and rich in Pisa and Rome. The cathedral was a wooden 17th century coffered ceiling, painted and decorated with gold leaf. The paintings behind the altar make it between 16th and 17th century, depicting stories of the Old Testament and the stories of the life of Christ. Next to the cathedral was Campo Santo, originally intended to be a church rather than a cemetery. The idea changed during its construction which began in 1278 and completed in 1464. I spent the rest of the afternoon just hanging around Piazza del Duomo, getting some coffee, snacks and gelato, while admiring the four magnificent masterpieces from the medieval era. Pisa is a lovely intimate place with its very own character. My one day stop over here has been wonderful. Tomorrow, I shall be taking a morning train ride to my next destination in the northeastern part of Italy. Train would be train one, train Known as the city of canals, Venice is where I will be spending my next three days exploring Italy's most picturesque city, its winding canals, striking architecture, and beautiful bridges and landscapes. <laughs>